Hey everyone, Toby from Cape Gunworks here, and I just want to bring up a quick little history lesson from the Federalist 49. It was a paper written by James Madison, the author of the Constitution. And I want to ask you a question and see if this is what it sounds like, how our government conducts itself in today's day and age. Listen to the words. As the people are the only legitimate fountain of power, and it is from them that the constitutional charter under which several branches of government hold their power is derived. Madison is pointing out that power is derived from the people. He goes on to further clarify and explain as you read further down, as in a provision in all cases for keeping the several departments of power within their constitutional limits. This proves that there are limits to the constitutional authority of each branch of government. What's interesting is you'll hear these branches of government go on TV, write a paper, write an article, and say there's actually limits to our rights. No right is absolute. Interesting, because the plain text of the Bill of Rights is what should be adhered to. And then government can prove otherwise through historical laws and tradition at the time of the ratification in 1791. Other than that, government doesn't have any power. It also says in Federalist 49 that the most important branch of government is the legislature. Why? Because they are from the people, of the people, they're the blood of the people, the friends, the neighbors, the business owners, the farmers, the teachers, they are of the people and they're numerous and they go there to what? To represent us in Congress within their constitutional limitations. It further says that they are the gatekeepers of our rights. They should be the line in the sand to make sure there's no encroachment on our rights. But in this modern era, the gatekeeper has become the oath breaker. They think that they are the grantor of rights and they hide behind this thinly veiled wall of no right is absolute. Well, I challenge that today and here. I think you need to remember your oath of office. We send you there as a gatekeeper of our rights. When you go there and you propose a law that is contrary to the Constitution, it should be ignored and it should be struck down by the courts and you should have to resign for breaking your oath of office. I'm Toby Leary, thanks for tuning in. That's my thought of the day. We'll see you soon. Please follow us on X and wherever you find your social media at Cape Gunworks and at Rapid Fire Radio. I'll see you on Rapid Fire.